Hey gearheads and welcome to Garage Talk. I'm Corey and this is the SR5 version of the new 2024 Toyota Tacoma. I am in the showroom of Classic Toyota here in Tyler, Texas, where unfortunately this one has already been spoken for, but that doesn't mean I can't take you on a quick tour. Stay tuned. All right, gearheads, huge thanks to Woody and the team here at Classic Toyota for allowing me access here to this one on their showroom floor, because this is the first SR5 I've even seen, much less gotten to spend any time with, poke around under the hood and whatnot. Some notes I'll show you while we're under the hood here. You actually get two different spots uh, to put this prop rod in place, which gives you a little bit different angle uh, when you are opening the hood and getting underneath the hood. It makes it a little easier to get in and out and work on this 2.4 liter, which you may not have to do all that often because it is a Toyota after all, right? As we close the hood, we can look at the new styling of the fourth gen Tacoma, especially here on this SR5. This one is dark. It is gray outside with all these dark gray plastic accents or black plastic accents, but you can see we still get LED lighting, fog lights, and incandescent turn signals on this one. Again, being in the showroom, we don't have a lot of that turned on, uh, but you can see just the nice updated look that uh, is in line with the new Tundra full-size pickup truck. I think the styling absolutely works on the Tacoma. I think it is the best iteration of this style. As we come down, I will, yes, talk about the giant chin on this one that is for aerodynamics and for better fuel economy, but you can see the cutouts there. We do get tow hooks on the front here. Two different tow hooks, in fact, over here on the driver's side, you can see uh, a slightly different uh, tow ring versus the tow hook over here on the passenger side, which um, still gives you access to helping others out off-road. This is a four by two model, so only two wheel drive on this one. And uh, we'll talk about wheels and tires here in just a moment. But I did drive yesterday at TRD Sport and really did appreciate it. It did have a different powertrain or different tuning under the hood than uh, this SR5. As we come to the wheels here, you can see we've got some Toyo Open Country tires wrapped around these nice silver uh, wheels, nothing too spectacular. This is, again, one of the lower trim levels, which there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. I'm actually looking for the measurements. These are 245.70 R17, uh, Toyo Open Country tires wrapped around these 17 inch wheels. Very nice, disc brakes back behind, coil springs up front, coil springs back in the back. I do believe the SR gets leaf springs back in the back still. At least uh, that is what the uh, media site says when you go into all the details on this 2024 20, Toyota Tacoma. And uh, this, like I said, is the lowest trim I've ever seen in person. We do have some fixed in place running boards. We've got some dark accents for the Tacoma badge right here on the door here. Body painted uh, door handles, which I really like. And then the SR5 badge here on the door. This as it sits is uh, just over 40,000. I mean, just over 40,000 for this model. So we do have some options on it, uh, but it is a very nicely equipped SR5, if I do say so myself. Again, coming back here, we do have uh, coil sprung rear suspension, pink in back here. You can see inset coils with the uh, monotube shock back there. You do have the spare tire underneath. And then we do not get the remote release uh, tailgate buttons back here. We just get the uh, traditional handle back here. No electronic opening either. I like how it's just a normal standard tailgate. This one isn't even damped. Uh, so it is a little bit heavier than what that TRD Sport was that we experienced yesterday. As we look inside, we do have the composite bed in this one. No spray in bed liner, but it is a textured uh, composite bed. So I really like that. It won't be as slick. So for those of you wondering what the non-spray in bed liner is like, uh, here we have the uh, textured composite bed. You can see all the bolt points uh, down there. We do get some tie downs here and up front in the cab right there. Some adjustable tie downs on the side as well, and Tacoma on the top of the tailgate. It isn't heavy, but it is definitely heavier uh, without it being damped. 
uh, than the TRD Sport we checked out yesterday. Very interesting note back here. Again, this being the lowest trim that I've gotten to see and sample. We even get the uh, high jack lift points back here on the back bumper on the SR5. So if you are in a predicament or want to modify your SR5 uh, for some severe or some crazy off-roading duty, you still get those high lift jack points back here in the back, which is very nice. And a traditional uh, trailer hitch receiver back there on the back as well. Mud flaps. Well, we already talked about these steps that are Tacoma branded, but let's peek on the inside of this one. Can see we did have the windows tinted here, so we've got that bargain sticker, but uh, just like the TRD Sport, very nice interior, rubberized door handle here, really like that. Some storage, more storage, and then coming to the seats, we have power two-way lumbar, everything else is manual height adjustment, recline, and they slide back and forth. These seats are a little bit different than what we experienced yesterday in the TRD Sport, in that they've got this dying, uh, pattern in them, diamond plate pattern in them. I like them, it's really cool. I like how they are dark seats. The light seating area of the TRD Sport yesterday really makes me wonder how that is gonna wear over time and if uh, some new blue jeans are gonna leave some blue stains on them. Whereas these are dark uh, cloth seats, I think they're gonna hold up much better over time. As we look over here, we get the full digital gauge cluster, smaller infotainment screen, we'll talk more about that. Uh, when we go around to the other side, lots of poverty blanks up here because Toyota likes to put a lot of buttons in their vehicles. And uh, this being a lower trim, we don't get a lot up here, but you do get your brightness controls, uh, traction control, auto bright headlights, and then a bunch of blinks uh, right here. It does look like these are adjustable, either fog lights or your headlights, uh, just the height of them. Uh, I very much look forward to getting one of these for a week to test, to see exactly what that does firsthand. You can also turn on the bed lighting back here, and then we've got a blank right here. Uh, very nice pedals. This one has the all-weather floor mats, which are nice. We're going to go ahead and climb in. We don't have an A-pillar mounted handle, but you can grab onto the steering wheel, which is very nice. Looking at the steering wheel, very much like any other Tacoma uh, or even the Tundra in its style. You get all your buttons up here for all your lane keeping. This does have Toyota Safety Sense. 3.0, so that is very nice. You can see this gauge cluster is a little bit smaller. I'm going to go ahead and just push no, no key detected, so unfortunately we can't do that, but uh, a smaller screen in here, a smaller display overall. And then coming over here, we do have the smaller infotainment screen. Let's see if we can turn that one on. Nope, not gonna do it without the key. Uh, HVAC controls, oh, there we go. We're actually getting a little bit of action here. So that is nice. We get some storage up here, storage in here, and there you can see just how big that screen is. Let's see, does it have, yes, we've got USB charging points over here. So that is a nice touch. And uh, the new Toyota infotainment system built in. No Qi wireless charging, but a couple of spots to put larger phones uh, where they're actually facing you. You get USB-C charging ports up here, which is nice. Nice rubberized handle right here. Eight speed automatic transmission, electronic parking brake, all your uh, tow haul mode right there and ECT power, no dial like in the drive modes that we saw in the TRD Sport. So you only get normal drive mode here in this one. A lot of poverty buttons right here, but you can defeat that engine start stop. A couple cup holders with, I guess, a center cup holder, decent size center console. No sunroof in this one. So you can see I've got plenty of headroom. I'm very comfortable up here. But let's check out that back seat because there's a lot going on with that back seat. I'm actually gonna move the front seat up uh, if you want to see how much room I have sitting behind myself, go check out yesterday's video of the TRD Sport because I want to show you some nifty features back here in the back. Same materials on the doors, a uh, little bit of storage here, a little bit of storage down here, but there is even more storage underneath the seat. This is only the second non-hybrid iForce Max vehicle that I've seen. And Toyota does an excellent job of putting space and storage underneath the seat. Uh, perhaps the best in the midsize segment. I think everybody else has these small little cubbies and compartments that really limit what you can do. The only downside to me is it is not a latch or lever system to keep it in place. You have to button it in uh, right here, which for me is gonna be a little bit of a two-handed process. I do believe making sure that the uh, seat bottom is pulled up enough, but 
It does drop down. It is 60-40 split, so I like that well enough. And my driver's seat forward is the seat back folds down flat, so you can put some larger items back here. There is some storage back here behind the seat as well. You can see behind the passenger side was where all the stuff is to change it flat. Really like this, but I don't like that this is how you hook up a child seat top tether. I think uh, the GM twins do that a whole lot better. But that is the back seat right there. We'll go ahead and climb in. We've got a pillar mounted handle right there. Again, I moved this seat forward. If you want, really want to see what the space is like back here, um, go check out yesterday's video. A couple cup holders here, a little bit of power back here, but nothing else, nothing to speak of. Get a map pocket here on the passenger side, not on the driver's side. All the cup holders are in the doors because we did get a fold down armrest here in the center. And then we get decent headroom back here. I've got no complaints. I'm a little on the upright side. I will say, I think the Ford Ranger, the new 2024 Ford Ranger, has the best back seat in the business. But this one, it isn't terrible. I would rank it just above the Nissan Frontier, kind of at the low end of the midsize pickup truck segment. But there you have it, a quick tour of a sold SR5 unit uh, from the showroom floor of uh, my friends here in Tyler, Texas at Classic Toyota. If you want to get a Toyota from them, I will put a link to their website down below. Huge thanks to Woody and the team for allowing me access to this one and the TRD Sport that we drove for you yesterday. Definitely go check out that video. Again, huge thanks to them. You can make uh, that one yours. Unfortunately, this one is spoken for. You can find us on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Threads, YouTube, uh, X, everything is at GT Garage Talk, or you can go to gtgaragetalk.com. You can find, uh, absolutely hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell so you are notified every time a new video drops from us. But as for me, in the backseat of a 2024 Toyota Tacoma SR5, until next time, gearheads.